Well, I don't. I don't understand. If you you think all thoughts are true. Yeah. Yes. Can you, th- I just can said you think? That's can you think a said. lie? What? Can you think a lie? What do you mean? Can you think of a lie? Is it true that you can think up a lie? I don't lie. It, is, uh. is it tr- <laughs> How would you feel uh, if you didn't eat breakfast this morning? Why are we in a philosophical morning? conversation now? So off topic. Anyway, whatever. I, I guess it's a side tangent. It doesn't really matter. Can I ask you something? Anyway, um, so uh, the point is, though, is all I'm saying is that mapping, mapping how you feel onto a thing doesn't make it true. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't mean that that was the truth of the situation. I'll disagree, but I yeah, agree with you. You, dis- you, dis- no, well, you can't disagree with that, right? You can, you can disagree that in that situation I'm wrong, sure, but you can't disagree you that thoughts, just mapping a feeling onto a situation I, doesn't want, mean that the truth of the matter is that is how the situation uh, was. I am taking responsibility for my choices. I just, uh, it was actually a trauma that I had that I fixed it with a different boyfriend and went haywire, so. Yeah, no, I, un- I understand, but uh, let me try again. Let me try it this way. If, I, if, if my daughter comes out and she says, Dad, I feel like there's a monster under the bed, and I go in a room and I look under the bed and there's no fucking monster under the bed, right? Uh, it's the truth of the matter that there is actually a monster under the bed because she feels like there is one. But if your daughter came to you and she's don't, 16 and she said, hey, about, a guy what about, hit the wall next to my face, into feeling like, like would you not be upset about so that? Hang on, hang on. Answer the question, then ask a question. But this if isn't imaginary. My under, if my daughter looked under her bed, I went and looked under her bed. There's no monster there. I showed her there's no monster there. How she feels. She's not talking about an imaginary, imaginary is, circumstance. Uh, what, is it possible for you to engage with the actual question and then ask yours? So, if is how she feels the truth of the matter? Lying is the root of all trauma. Yeah, I, uh, can you answer my question? Literally. Can you can you actually answer the question? Who are you talking to, Alina or yeah, me? Who are you talking to? I, I'm talking to. Uh, this would be Laura. So, Laura, the the question is. Would the truth of the matter be that there was a monster under the bed, even if she felt like there was one? No, there's no monster, but you're comparing this to actual domestic violence, which I don't really love. So that's where <laughs> well, I'm... Well, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I don't... I don't feel I that way. Look up the, the definition of domestic violence. The problem is, with the comparison of feeling to feeling, if we're judging whether the truth of the matter is the truth of the matter. But this wasn't an imaginary boyfriend... Monster like an imaginary not, monster. Like you're comparing two things that are not the same. Yeah. No, I'm comparing like feelings. Asking somebody. No, if that there's no not. feeling. It's not a feeling. It's not a feeling. You're that you're, I could say that's red. It is a I feeling. Really to. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. It's a feeling, right? If you punch a wall, you can't tell me that you can determine intent that's, based off of somebody punching a wall. You can't determine that. You can only feel a certain way about it. That's it. But if the person is punching the walls, and I just think you're minimizing. He would be punching the walls on the first date and the, the, first date like and the second date, and right from the start, he would be if he was what mentally. Just so, you, right? just so you understand, when you're talking about definitions, people can define a thing however they choose to define a thing, right? As long as it's coherent, makes sense, and it's indicative of the thing which it's pointing at, that's totally fine. So, you know, as far as the definition goes, I don't see any actual problem. I see what that. you're I mean, saying. I just feel definition. like you're excusing his behavior, which I don't I'm not love. Excusing, I, yeah. I'm excusing. I just feel like by so arguing about it this much, you're excusing the behavior phenomenal. and saying it's okay, even though you wouldn't do it to your wife. It's and even though your daughter, if, she, if a guy okay. did this to her, you wouldn't yeah. love it. So yeah, I just so, feel like hey, you're excusing why are you, it. Why are you lying and saying I said it was okay? When did when did I ever say I don't that? Think you're not saying that. it's okay, just, but really fighting about it this that. much, it just Three seems like you're excusing it. Those words out of his mouth specifically. No, I literally, you got literally never said did, anything was okay. Lying. What I said was I gave an argument for how you can map feelings on to a, re, a situational reality where the feelings don't mean that that is the truth of the matter. Instead of contending with what I said, you interjected your feelings and then made up shit I didn't even say because of how my words made you fucking feel. I agree. I just think by making all these comparisons, it seems like you're condoning it. That's all. Yeah. That's my opinion. That's, that's an opinion. That's an accusation. Well, not an okay. well, it seems accusation, like you condone an SA. By the way on, that you talk, you condone SA. Too. That's crazy. Because I feel that way. I just feel like you're the type of person who condones SA. I feel like it. Live broadcast is crazy. Right? SA? 
Yeah. What's What's that say? Well, I can't assault. say the word. But. Yeah, Do you not know what that is? Term here. Words. Yeah, I just I just feel like that. I feel like you're the type of person who does because I feel that way. Who needs proof, right? We just we can just make whatever allegations we want just based on how we fucking feel, right? There will be physical proof. You know, in my opinion, behind every action, there is uh, something deeper that actually um, motivating that action. So I'll give you an example from my personal life, between like an uh, example from between me and my husband. I call it pizza example. He got really, really mad because pizza was not done correctly. You know what was before that? I wanted to make pizza and lay in the pepperoni in a certain way to make it really perfect. He wanted the pepperoni to be laid in one level, right? So he got mad that I did, haven't done it. But what is not understood, I mean, you can interpret his reaction by that he is an asshole, that he got mad, but in reality what happened, you gotta look in the past. His mom was pushing the food on him that he absolutely didn't like. It triggered a certain emotion. I had a critical parent who things were not good enough. So I tried to overcompensate where he felt like he was not hurt. So is it about pizza? It's not. Right. It's right. all so, of the stuff so this, that is done. So this is a good example. You're saying. You're saying, okay, so now feelings are involved and other things are going on in the material world which uh, are backed by the feelings that we can look at. But it's up to interpretation here, right? There's a lot of interpretation which goes into the feeling. And so that's all I'm trying to say is that, you know, when you say things like, like you're mitigating DV, right, or you're, you're trying to somehow make it seem like it's not as bad as it is, uh, quite the opposite. What I'm doing is adhering to a standard for how we can even judge these things coherently without slander and accusation and innuendo and backbiting and front stabbing and all that shit. Rather, uh, some type of appeal to a standard which is unerring and doesn't change. Something that would be backed by evidence and not feelings. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I couldn't have said so smart as you are. You're using so many fancy words. It's okay, we got we got the <laughs> we got, we got the memo. <laughs> All right, where were we? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kylie, Let's move on. Oh yeah, Kylie, you did have something. Go ahead. Oh I did. Um so you're is he, is he still listening? Yeah, he's here. Okay. Go ahead. You're downplaying Just let... her abusive relationship because oh. He punches near her, he throws stuff near her, but he doesn't actually hit her. So if a kid were to come to a school with a gun and someone what? saw it, but he doesn't, like, how do you know if he's going to shoot anyone? He just what? Hits it. Well, so I'll, like, I'll answer not, this question, right? He thought that right? counts. He thought about it. So what makes you yeah, think so, that he's not so going to do answer, it? Okay, okay, I'll answer the question as it's actually presented. So if you're talking about this, you couldn't determine 100% what his motivations would be, right? You would have to err on the side of caution and the trends in the past, which if somebody brings this said object to school, usually the intention is nefarious. Though it does not mean in this particular instance it was, we would assume that it was and we would act accordingly, especially since the school says that you can't have the gun there, et cetera, et cetera, for good reason. So you would uh, base this along patterns, you'd base it along the law, you'd base it along the actual action, right? When you're talking about uh, DV, it's gonna be the exact same thing. It's not just up to interpretations, up to action. So I can think of many situations where a man could get frustrated and throw something and meant no harm to anybody, or punch a wall out of frustration and meant no harm to anybody. The interpretation which comes in, uh, the feelings-based interpretation, you may not like that, but it's very difficult for us to always map on motive if we don't have better context than just one time he hit a wall next to me, right? No, but she had mentioned that he was throwing things at her. So why would she not think that she could be next? Like, Well, we're not very sign. clear on the exact she situation, are we? Right? We don't know what the sequence of events was. Did he throw things at her before he punched the wall? She didn't like, we don't say really he threw know things at her. She just said he threw but, things. But ultimately, but ultimately, but ultimately just to kind of grant this, just, 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 to, this just to grant all of this, guys. right? I'm just going to grant all of it, that he's thrown things at her. I'll even grant... Good, Andrew, go ahead. Yeah. No, go, Andrew, you go ahead. Just I was just saying, I can just, I can just grant all of this as being true. It doesn't matter. My statement that your feelings are interpretive is not ever going to change. Your feelings are totally interpretive, 
And just because you feel like something is true, it doesn't make it true. It's interpretive. There's no changing that, but what I see women always do is say, how I feel is valid, and it's not open to interpretation. How I feel is true. And it's like, no, that's not the truth of the matter just because you feel that way. That's my point. I disagree. I fully disagree with that. <laughs> with what, how you what feel you it is truth? What he just said. Yeah. What, like, yeah. what, what your thoughts are all, like, they don't just come out of nowhere. Like, everything you think is actually, like, really happening. That's what I have to say about that. That goes back to what I said earlier, but it's fine. It's exactly I don't know. If a guy had the intent of keeping or wanting his girlfriend to feel safe, why would he be aggressive around her and throw things at her or punch walls next to her? Well, I'm not so sure that the intention in the, that particular case would be that he's trying to make her feel safe. I don't think that the entirety of a man's existence is tailored around making women feel fucking safe. I don't think that that's what they do 24 hours a day is worry all day long about making you fucking feel safe. That's what you guys I are supposed that to you, do. I think that you feeling safe, right, and that itself is open to interpretation, right? Because, again, it's a feeling. You could feel unsafe in a situation that you're totally safe in, right? This is why the marriage problem. But I ask uh, Alina if the guy well, was no, acting can, like can this. I, can I get an answer right, real quick? Can I get an answer to my question? Oh, it was a question. You could be in a situation, correct, where you feel totally unsafe, where the truth of the matter is that you're totally safe. No. No? Maybe. What? No, you could. So you couldn't be, for instance, uh, getting prepped for like, I don't know, a medical procedure or something like this, and you could feel unsafe, right? Even though let's say it has a, like a 100% success rate, you could feel unsafe. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, is you would be unsafe because you felt unsafe. You always have the risk. Okay, it's so so, <laughs> so by that metric then, shouldn't everybody just always feel unsafe at all times because at all times a bad thing could happen? No. Well, okay, well then I don't understand how it could be possible that you couldn't be in situations where you could just feel unsafe even though you weren't unsafe. I don't really understand that. I think sometimes the intuition plays a role, so if you feel unsafe, maybe something is wrong. I agree. Yeah, maybe. Maybe's the yeah. key word here, right? Maybe's doing a lot of heavy lifting here. Sure, maybe. But is it the case that it's always true that because you feel unsafe, you are unsafe? What's making you feel unsafe, though? Like I had a bad fucking question. dream. You had a bad dream, and you woke up, and you're scared, right? Because in the what dream, there was, crazy, there was a what crazy chainsaw-wielding clown. Let me finish. Let me finish, and I'll let you respond, right? In your dream, a crazy, a crazy chainsaw clown was chasing you down the street, right? And you woke up, and you went... <gasps> and you're feeling really unsafe, were you actually unsafe? Were you actually unsafe? I feel like your examples are I, a little off. Well, can't answer to <laughs> you the might question. Sense can me. I give an example? Can were you not unsafe? Like, can you like, answer? Please answer. Were you actually unsafe? No. Because you feel, no. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs> Just tell him what he wants to hear. And now you can ask now whatever on, you want. No, I'll tell you what I want to hear. you want to hear? I'll submit to you, master. No, I'm saying I'll actually answer your questions. I would just like if you actually answered mine. You're comparing with real uh, person, a man, and then unreal situation. It's well, they're both real. really different. Just really one's where he's yeah. like physical, and one's like physical and man. Physical yeah, the man. Exactly. I think he's just saying what you feel is a personal experience might not actually be a reality. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Yes. How do I how do I send money down so that you can go get a drink after this on me? Because I don't know why you're the only human being on that panel who fucking understood a word I just said, but you are. So I appreciate that. Andrew, a question for you. If some, uh, someday your daughter uh, can come and say, like, I feel unsafe with my boyfriend, uh, husband, whatever, because he punched the wall, what are you going to do? I would take all the facts into consideration, including how she felt about it, and I would give an interpretation. I would give an interpretation based on all of the facts which were around me to the best of my possible ability. That's what I would do. But what I would not assume ever 
was that instantly based on a feeling that that was the truth of the matter. So I would always subject everything to reason first if I could, right? Now, I'm not perfect. I'm imperfect, and I have feelings as well. Could be driven by feelings to do rational things. I'm in no way the, uh, the perfect form, as it were, just pure human logic walking around in a skin suit. But I still do think you should temper reason to feelings. That's all I was saying. So here I was making the same exact point that if you're so willing to just come out and say somebody else is a narcissist, that's all interpretative or all interpretive off of your feelings, how I felt. I feel like he was a narcissist, therefore he was a narcissist, right? Well, no, no, actually that's not true. That's bullshit, right? That's just made up tripe. And so that's what Whoa. led into the idea of whether or not you could have feelings which don't map onto reality. Are women always wrong? No. Are women never right? Women, we women no, tend to jump not. to the conclusions just, and men just, are... You're always wrong, but women, yeah. no. Men are rational. They're it's able to <laughs> understand and get the logic. Women, what? we uh, make our decision based on emotions. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's the difference between men and women. If we would be able that. to see the situation, actually... Think like a man. That's uh, so, one advice that I give to all you ladies here. So, like, I ask don't Alina... Be like, don't be a man. Think like a man. And then you'll fa you'll find a husband. Well, <laughs> think like a man, listen to a man. <laughs> Talking a 21 year old. Support a man, discuss uh, things with a man, but absolutely don't care respect about your a man. Number one. They don't care about your emotions. They just care about what you look like. I'm just being the completely honest. That, is, for that now, is the for man who's not looking for the family or intimacy or connection. They yeah. care about what you look like so they can use but you temporarily without any commitment. But, um, but men are designed by mother nature as well to connect with the physical attributes. Men are predators. They're not like, they will eat anything they see. Like, that's just how they work. They don't care what it looks like. They'll eat anything. That's just uh, how they work. It's, no. it's oh, nature. We it's cannot nature. hear Andrew. It's natural. Stop that's it. Wait, I'm super, I'm super confused. Women do the exact same thing. Right? So, especially in countries where there's very little food, women need better. everything that's not nailed down. Women are also predatory. We women also hunt and patch. We can control it, though. Let me finish. Let we me have finish. more self-control also... than men. Women also hunt in packs. Women are also are... predatory. Women also eat meat. They eat all the same things that men eat. But they do all those same types of things. What are you talking about? Scientifically, say, women are now, smarter now, than men. Now, I agree with men. you that on this. Men are the apex proven. predator. That's true. They're the apex predator. Men are. I agree with that. See? But to say that men are predatory and women are not predatory is insanity. You know, when we were going back, I'm trying to make my point. Uh, when I asked Alina, when she started dating this guy, was he punching the walls on right and left? She said no. So apparently his behavior had changed through the time that they were dating. So then you got to get a little bit deeper and understand why his behavior had changed. Was it triggered? Maybe he was not hurt, maybe he was not respected, maybe he had to show that he is a freaking man by doing the stupid stuff like that. But if we women, I, I don't know you, Alina, yeah, but I just know from my experience that if women would show respect to men, if we would uh, hear them, if we uh, would be able to validate them, show gratitude, their behavior is going to be completely different. They would not be punching the balls. I'm not talking about the crazy ones. Certainly there is crazy category out there as well. Are you I saying mean, that it's okay for men to punch a wall in front of, in the presence is, of a woman Are you child? saying it is okay for women to disrespect men? What? Is it, is it okay Answer for, my question. For, I asked you a question. Yeah, women, they able to motivate inadequate actions in men by showing them disrespect, by not showing them gratitude, by not showing them validation that we actually validate and appreciate and recognize him. So we are able to trigger those type of reactions. And again, I'm not talking about psycho and crazy ones, okay? But I'm talking about that you can get men completely messed Women up mentally. Women are just as capable as abusing men, of abusing men as 
men are ab- capable of abusing women. Uh, That's what I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Your opinion is all over. Mentally, the place. I'm talking about <laughs> mentally, not physically. All over physically, the men so are if, stronger than women, but mentally, no, may, may women are men are stronger able than to uh, cover up their I, feelings I inside. They want the feelings, them. but they, uh, <laughs> they, 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 uh, it is hard for them to reach out for those feelings. If we would be able to inspire in men to open up their feelings, then that's where the actually fulfilling relationships would be happening. But we are able to inspire absolutely the most amazing things in our men. We are, this is our power as a women. But if we are punching them, think things are, are not smarter? good enough. Do you think not, men are smarter than women? I have, uh, what, <laughs> is the 18 year old smarter than 19 year old? Is the 16 year old? <laughs> I mean, you cannot uh, generalize. Is the Eastern European smarter than Americans or Asians are smarter than, you cannot generalize. It is not about smarter. Women typically, they have better intuition than men. Women. And men actually would be Wait, looking for our uh, <laughs> advice. They would be looking for our advice. Men who are married and respect their wives, they come and they, it is not like, Andrew, you, do you come to your wife and discuss with her some things or you're like, this is my way and that's it? Uh, it depends on the situation, but yeah, we have discussions. There you go. So even a guy what? as masculine and opinionated That's as confidence. he is, That's confiding. He, he is talking to his wife. That's he is confiding. asking for her That's opinion confidence. as well because he respects her. That but is he, confidence. That's called confidence. Confidence. So what con- is confidence, Brian? Brian? To confide. I mean, to speak with, essentially. Discussion? To have a discussion, yeah. To have Not a just discussion. any discussion, like emotional and deep and, yeah. Joel, right? Discuss- okay, uh, discussion. Yeah, but they're a team. You see, they're a team. That's what it I'm is saying. not about uh, uh, his wife is going against him or showing disrespect or whatever, but he's showing respect back to her as well. What so, are you but, referring to? But we women, we are able to inspire and motivate men to do either crazy stuff or great stuff. But it is our choice what we want, who, the, who, who we want them to be. Mm, I think everyone's like, I don't know. Also, and again, it's not our job to work on their traumas. <clears throat> they have to want to work on their traumas. It is our job as partners to work together. We're each individual, like people, like nobody. If, yeah, if you are going separate, like I'm working on my shit, you're Until working you're on married, your shit, you then are you are considered as no, one when you get no, married. You, you start, yeah, you are. No, you start connecting right from the beginning. Why man should give you whatever you want without you giving him? Nobody what owes he needs. you anything until, like, unless you're married. That's what I think. Wait, hold on. Uh, how said wait, that wait, you wait, will stop, be better? Stop, stop, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Nobody owes you anything until you're married is what you said? Yeah. Didn't earlier you say it's a man's job to pr- protect a woman? Uh, well, no, it's a, that's a fa- like fatherly thing to do. Like, I think so if you're dating, hold on. Or, I don't know. If, I, if a man's dating a woman, did you not say that it's a man's job to so protect? So if you saw a child getting abused, would you? Ah, uh, no, no, what? Hold on. You, you <laughs> like. Intervene? Would you intervene or no? Would you let? Would you support the What does this have no? anything? I'll answer the question, but what does that have anything to do with what I'm asking you? Because you're you're and t- talking you're telling about telling me that I'm responsible for like. We're talking. You said that in a relationship. To protect. Hold on, a couple things here. You got to let people finish their fucking sentences, and you can't interrupt them. So that was rude. No, it's rude for you to interrupt repeatedly. You did it to her. You've done it to multiple people here. Am I not allowed to speak? No, no, you are allowed to speak, but in order for us to hear you, uh, we have to allow you to speak and listen to you, and then in exchange, you have to That's allow crazy. us to speak and listen to you. What's crazy? Asking you to be polite and un- interrupt people? I've g- I gave you a warning before, politely, and you continue doing it, and you're doing it to me now. Warning? Yes, I, I gave you a you warning. What did you warn me about? This girl's abusive in a relationship. Okay, um, <laughs> I warned you when Andrew was talking... You Did were I interrupting. Hit, have I hit, you think I'll hit a, some somebody? You, you think ask I hit the a, most anybody? like unrelated, like non sequitur questions. Can you, you can't keep up. Ever. That's why you can't keep up, like mentally. <laughs> when did I say you were physically <laughs> abusive? Well, I can keep up mentally. Uh, so I, I know he's no. probably listening to everything that I'm saying, but you are just like I have no idea what you're saying. Like I cannot well, physically. Like I'm losing there. brain cells listening to you. I'm yeah, losing brain reason. cells listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. No you. no, you! No, you! No, you did that! <laughs> like, that's what you sound like. 
<laughs> okay. What is the effect this girl's doing on you? <laughs> You're talking to Brian this way. <laughs> So if you need me to actually articulate what you did before, Andrew was speaking, you've done it multiple times. You did it multiple times. You'll start talking while somebody else is talking. Andrew was talking. That's interrupting. So, and I told you to stop. And there's, I think some of that, within reason, uh, interjecting at certain key points in a conversation is fine, right? But there, I think there's a distinction between that and kind of incessant interrupting. The thing is, it's like, I'm not going to beat you up about it because I want to hear what you have to say. So let's, let's have the combo. It's okay. Rewinding here. I believe the question was, so you said that uh, something like you don't owe them anything until you're married or I, I don't want to misquote you. What did you say? I forgot. <laughs> That's exactly what was said. Okay. Yeah. But earlier in the conversation, you said that men should protect women in the context of like a romantic relationship. Did I? You did. I don't recall. Whether you recall or not is irrelevant. Do you agree your with the statement? Your opinion is irrelevant. Do you agree that that is your position? What? Are you just intentionally being? I feel like you're like, trolling. I'm sorry. It you're, like your, your thoughts you that you've been question? here are so disjointed. They're all over the place. You seem like you're like just not here. What do here. I seem like? You don't seem Probably. like you're no, physically here. Like your consciousness isn't here. Are you? you like? Absolutely, I'm here. You meant mentally, right? I meant no. mentally, though. I mean, you just say whatever. It has That's nothing to I even think. do with the topic. Like You like seem like a little, I don't know. Like, do you want me to say, should I say it? Delusional. Your opinion of me has absolutely no bearing. You are very young, and I, I don't, I just feel like you're trolling, so. That's your opinion. Okay. I don't need your opinion. <laughs> I didn't ask. Did I ask for your opinion? No. Aren't you so glad I brought her? <laughs> you said you wanted another girl. Uh, so I'll repeat myself one <laughs> final time here. Uh, you said you don't really owe anybody until you're, anything until you're married. Was that your statement? What? Bro, we cannot have... You obviously heard what I said. I didn't hear you. Can you re like repeat the question? I'm going to repeat it one last time. Can you speak up? Listen. Two. Because I can't really hear you. I'm hard of hearing. I can't hear that well. Yeah, I see you smiling, so I know you're just fucking trolling. Yeah. Um, look, we're trying to, I know sometimes we can joke around and stuff, but I'm really not going to tolerate the trolling, so it's got to stop. You understand? You're trolling. You started it. You instigated this. How did, did I? Take, can you handle the heat or not? Uh, how did oh. I start it? Or not? How did I start it? Answer the question. I did not fly in from Florida for this. I got to tell you that, honey. Who? Who are you again? I don't think I've ever heard of you or met you or I think you're irrelevant to me. Okay. I still didn't so fly in from Florida for this, like, for, to be true. I really don't. Like, you are not okay, here. Okay, Gio, Gio, answer the just, question Yeah, repeat has. it for yeah. her again. Just repeat it one time, Gio, be quiet and listen. Do you she want me to answer, se listen, like, listen, seriously listen, listen, or listen. not seriously? seriously? Is this a serious question or not? Because can yeah, you answer? If it's a not a serious, serious question, question, then I don't answer. It's serious. Like, just listen to it. Serious question. I don't, like, I don't take disrespect. <laughs> Hey, that's, well, that's fair. Grid I'm going to repeat. Grid Sports donated $200.01. Dollar Store Ariana, shut the fuck up. You are not just stupid. You are ignorant and a waste of a chair on hey, the panel. Hey, I mean, I guess no I got... No one will know I, your name. Has anyone else been compared to her? I don't think so. Okay, so listen, I'll repeat the question um, just so that you're totally clear. Do you think that leprechauns do actually exist at the end of the rainbow? Like I'm just wondering. What's a leprechaun? Do you leprechaun? think that there is? Do you think What's there is a like leprechaun? a little pot of gold there that you can follow it to What's the end? What's a rainbow? And you find like a little leprechaun dancing. Yeah. What? Do you think so? What? Do you think? Do you What's think so? What's a leprechaun? So? Huh? Huh? What? 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 Uh, uh oh. Oh my. You guys are underestimating my intelligence. Oh no no. I think that's I wildly, what's going on I wildly, here. I wildly over I wildly overestimated it. 
But I was willing to okay. indulge it. You want? I can play the part if you really want me to. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm hard of hearing. Couldn't hear you. Sorry. <clears throat> Guess we're on the same page here, brother. What's that? What did you guys it? hear something? Because I don't think I did. I didn't hear anything. We hear everything. Is there a ghost in here? I, what was I the question again? Yeah, what was the question? Maybe we can answer it. <laughs> well, so I mean, I've been trying to engage in good faith here. So I think the questions I asked you are... Uh, irrelevant. How are they irrelevant? Okay, just let them finish. Sorry, yeah, that was my fault. I say, I'm so sorry. Did, can you forgive so me look, for you're gonna interrupting you? So look, you're going to need to check the you? fucking attitude. We can agree to have a good faith conversation moving forward. You did a bit of trolling. Congratulations. Was You've that a threat? Shh, let him talk to you. Um, On live, too. That's crazy. Yeah, well, How was yeah, that a totally. threat? You saw, he punched the wall. He punched <laughs> the wall, so you know it was a threat. How is that a threat? I'm telling you to cut it off. Just let him speak. I can cut Who's something else off. Who's fucking back there talking? I can cut something else off. They need to. Wait, they need to knock it off. They sound like a threat on live TV. Sound like a threat. Or can I? I don't know. What did I say? Who said that? Because I didn't say. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Is there a ghost in here? Woo. Can you see there's like four people I need water. Next question, please. Well, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to navigate this here. So <clears throat> I'm trying to reel things back and bring it back to a good faith conversation. You had your fun. You did a bit of trolling. So are we going to have a good faith conversation? Or are you going to keep this up? Are you going to ask stupid, keep asking stupid questions? All right, you're kind of pushing it. I mean, I'm, again. Get, trying, ask stupid questions, get stupid answers. Like, I don't know what else you want. I'm to trying hear. to extend an olive branch here so we can move on with the conversation. Okay. It wasn't a stupid question. It was related That's, to the conversation. You didn't hear what the question was. Just let him ask the question. I just said, has, I don't, has I don't like ever, repeating myself. I asked you to, like... You asked me to what? He's eating popcorn. I love it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so professional. Shut up, dork. I'll eat popcorn if I want to. I'm, I'm saying. What a like fucking it. dork. Stop being a dork and either engage in the conversation or get out of here. One or the other. I will gladly. You, like... I didn't ask Well, then here. gladly get the fuck up and get out of here, Tard. Why? Like, I'm so tired of Tard wrangling you. It's, a, it's literally okay. Tard wrangling at this Be point. Just get up and get the fuck out. You just can't handle the fact that I'm smarter than you and, like, you can't keep up with the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't hold the conversation any longer, what does that mean? What does that mean? He, like, I, oh. that, I, like, oh, you almost made a joke. I ended that. I literally, like, <laughs> what did you want me to do? Take that? I wasn't going to take that, especially not on, like, great. live. <laughs> oh. Nor behind the scenes either. I would never Please. take that. Personally, I would not let that slide if I were anybody in this room. Anybody in this room. Yeah. Universe. You go, girl. Do the, do, the, do the finger snap thing on the way out. Slave do that queen. for us. Do the finger snap. Be like, uh-uh, I'm not going to take that. Usually I, uh -uh. Usually I would uh -uh. be the one to walk I'm out. I'm a strong not, woman. You don't I'm smart like, everybody. I'm so smart. Oh, I'm taking nothing from you. Oh, thanks. Go, I didn't, do, I do, take, do the whole thing. You. you think I'm like, smart? Do the whole thing. So you think I'm smart? Lean, lean into the feminism. Lean into it. I got my popcorn here. I'm ready for the race. <laughs> Grid one motorsports donated two hundred dollars and one cent. <laughs> this is why no one wants to be around this dumb beach. Not even her parents. Get the fuck out. Literally the dumbest person this panel has seen in a while. That's Congrats, the only thing you guys can do is hate. Like failure. that's all. Hate from, bro. <laughs> <That's so dumb. clears throat> uh, Grid one motorsports. Thank you for the TTS. <laughs> Astute observation. Can you say? Uh, can you say cash me outside? How about that? 
What? Can you say cash me outside? How about that? Can you do sure. that? Sure. No, do the, I'm not going to cash say me that. outside. I'm not saying that. Will you guys pay me if I say no, that? Fuck no. Fuck oh, okay, no. Okay, then no, you I'm say not it? saying that. No. no. I don't work for free. I mean, are you, aren't you here for free? I don't know. Am I? I don't know. Are you? I don't know. Am I? I don't know. Are you? I don't know. You All right, know? so I'm going to ask... What do you know? I'm, uh, Andrew, I'm going to ask the question Can one I more time. Can I ask you one question before? You, ans- you asked me a Is question? Is it related to the... It's related to what he was just talking about. No. So, okay. I'm going to ask you the question. Then no. Then Why no. would I answer yours if you won't answer mine? Because I'm not... We're not going to have a meta conversation. I'm okay. going to bring it back to the actual conversation at hand. Okay, so earlier in the conversation, you said something along the lines of men should protect women, right? In the context of like a romantic relationship, men should protect women, boyfriends should protect girlfriends, husbands should protect wives, or well, boyfriends should protect girlfriends, men should protect women in general when it comes to dating. Uh, But you said you're not owed anything in a relationship prior to marriage. Yeah. So how do you... uh, how do you reconcile these two conflicting uh, positions? What do you mean? You want define me to define reconcile? reconcile? Yeah, yeah, please. See, I'm not perfect. Well, just for you, just so, just so I have it perfectly, Thank I will you. Google the exact definition of reconcile. Uh, so make consistent with another, especially by allowing, well, what? make consistent with another Cause to coexist in harmony. Make compatible. And then what was the other word that you added in that sentence, like before that? You want me to be defining... <laughs> it, was, uh, it was pedantry. He, used the, he was using the word pedantry. Can you repeat the question? Sorry. No, I'm actually being... So, I'm not trying to, like, trigger Yeah, you. that's the third I'm sorry, time. that was a trigger. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You worded it. Your intellect, I um, honestly, like... I'm donated $200. Yeah. There is a village missing there, exactly. okay, yeah, exactly. and we go, found go. her. Please, Brian, kick Pugsley Adams off the show. Can you she offers nothing to any conversation. I'll ask you a simple question. Uh, what, what's what's your, 9 plus 10? 21. What's your body count? What? What's your body count? 11. Did you say I'm 9 11, plus 10 so is 21? Shut the fuck up. What? Did you say 9 plus 10 is 21? No. Yeah, you did. You said 9 plus 10 is 21. I thought you just got done saying you're the smartest person here. Fucking tard wrangling. Tard wrangling up in here. (laughs) Sorry. This really scares me to have a daughter. Like, I think I'm done. (laughs) Four boys is fantastic. This this is terrifying. Oh, you got four boys? Yeah, I have four boys. Thank you. Lucky you. Uh, Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. That was a joke. Guys, kumbaya. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> so would you want, while you're dating a man, to protect you? Hmm. It's not necessary, but like, so I would he- like, I don't like to feel scared anywhere I go. Like, I, yeah. So, I would- okay. So how would you then de- define whether or not he is a protector and provider if he does not show his qualities while you are dating? What would do you, you be marrying blind without knowing whether oh, he is no, a protector? Oh, no, I would never marry a man that would ever... So how would you find out if he is protector and, pro- and provider if he but does if he not display that wife. while you are dating? Wait, what? Can you, sorry. So, I was talking over you, and I was speaking while you were speaking, so technically I couldn't. I understand you need attention. I understand that, yes. Um, so, while you are dating, you have to define whether or not this partner is right for you, right? But you are saying that men should not be protecting and providing you until marriage, correct? No, I think men should protect you before marriage, but not provide for you. Okay, until protect. You're yeah. Protect. Okay. So then he is displaying his qualities as a protector while you are dating, but at the same time, you do not give him anything back. You're holding, well, holding your... Well, he doesn't owe me either, anything either. I'm not asking for anything. Neither should he ask me for anything. But how he would be able to define whether or not you're a good wife, uh, uh, wife material what if do you, you don't show what that you're in da- dating... What makes a woman period. wife material? 
someone who is supportive, someone who I, I already said before the number of qualities. Um, someone who knows how to respect a man, someone yeah. who knows how, uh, how to worship a man, yeah. someone who okay. not arguing with a man, okay. not competing with a man. Okay, a woman who shuts up, cleans. And it is not has about a shutting butt. up. No, it's not about shutting up. Oh. But a woman, I mean, it should be eats. joy for the woman, a woman to actually. Eat. They like a woman, man like a girl that can eat. That's what they like. I well, can eat. You know, they, if you want fulfilling and relationship, average, yeah. no, if you kidding. do, you want fulfilling and what? loving relationship. What do you mean? Like, do I? Do I want to get married one day? No, loving and do I fulfilling want to feel, do relationship. Do I want to feel love from my like by like do you feel love? Do you want fulfilling and loving marriage? I can fulfill myself. I don't need a man. Let's just make that clear. I don't need So why a man. do you, Ooh, the feminist statement of the night? I don't so need a man. Here why we go. would you be even dating men if you don't need a man? Cuz I like having sex. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> but so there is you, other things you can use for sex. I don't so. You don't need a man. I only like I use I like men for I use men for sex. But you don't want to open your heart one day. I'm just, just kidding. Be, you guys really think honest. I use men for sex? No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Come on. What would you? I would never do that. That's so. That's crazy. So you, uh, in our conversation before, yeah. you said that you would not want to treat your man like a, a husband while you are dating. Oh yeah, no way. No. But at the same time, you want him to protect you while you are no, dating. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, what? What? What do you mean? Oh uh, are you aware? Okay. What this is getting doing? crazy. Are you what? really? No, I'm fully aware. No, yeah, she's doing it for attention. What? Okay. I'm sorry. All the I don't ask for attention. I just get it. <laughs> I just take it. Even if it's good or bad, that's really sad. I know. I mean, that's your opinion. Uh, you see, You're a hater. I okay. guess haters back off. That's what women do. Hmm. Yeah, but we take can't have a conversation because you just that's can't so even sad. have a conversation. That's actually really sad. You literally were making comments earlier, like putting down o OF. Like, girls, like, that's actually a hater. You're not a girl's girl whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You're a woman hater. She betrayed, she betrayed the opinion. sisterhood. <laughs> the the troubling the pants. Sisterhood. I wasn't Personally, putting down anyone. I said, get your bag. I just said, you may not get the I man you want while you're getting it. And that, that is fair. I would not let that slide. I take that as very disrespectful towards all the OF girls. None of the OF girls would what like was your you. Intention to the thought like is that. coming from her brain, so it's true. I mean, I guess, yeah, I know. She can't help it. It's like engraved in her head that no, you her women thought is coming from her brain that OnlyFans girls suck, so exist. therefore it's true, right? Sorry. I never said they suck. I would not say that. No, I know, but if you did, it would be true. I'm just hot and I exist. Brain. Like, I'm sorry you're mad that I'm hot and you're not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Okay. Gia. Gia, I'm so bad yeah. with names, I apologize. Gia. And whether you take that offensively or not, that's your opi opinion. That's that really shows whether you, you think you're hot or not. You just took offense, and that's your opinion. No, I honestly I don't get offended. What's I'm just you joking. Just did. I made a joke. I, do you guys not know who Miranda sings is? Haters back off. Like, do you not know who that is? I'm sorry. Maybe that show is old. like seven years old. I'm sorry. Yeah, old. you're probably too old for that. So like, why are you? You're in a completely ge relevant. different generation than me. Like, you can't relate yes, to me. Yes, I am. No, so you, you should listen to me. You really can't. How old are you? 37. I'm 21. I know. You're very young, and I think you're doing this for attention. I'm okay, I'm sorry. And I sorry feel that bad for you, and I did not fly here from Florida to not have a conversation. Like, you're, what? you're you ruining the are panel. Are you mad that I'm getting more attention than you are? No, it's not about attention. Is? You're just am, ruining the panel. We're not, I didn't come here to talk to you. I'm sorry. Uh, you that's gotta, what you sound you like. You gotta stop interrupting. You your gotta hair let people literally finish. matches your whole personality. I'm just kidding. Sorry. What's your intention? All right. Well, you can't you can't start insulting the panelists now. So um, I'm so sorry. I think you're very. What is sorry with a W? She is. You the are so beautiful. Story? I don't understand why you're hating on me. Like I think you're She's so not pretty. Hating. It's her opinion. No, I just yeah, I literally you, mentioned the first me. thing I ever said I'm was I said that I do OF. About I said I do looks. OF, and it's you said about that looks. no you're, man you're would wife. I'm not wifey material or whatever you said. You said I'm not wife material. Sorry, I what she said. It's not really about that. You're trolling this conversation. Okay. We're not, we can't even have a real conversation on this panel because you've been trolling it for, I don't even know, I don't have don't, a watch, but probably about an hour. You're no, everyone's listening. listening and everybody thinks you're ridiculous, honey. That's only you. That's No, you. it's, it's not just only you, me. Babe. Brian, it's is it only me? It's just you, babe. Uh, I think it's you. just you, babe. Not just you. <laughs> it's just me. Yeah, okay. No, okay. not just you. Not just me. Okay, I was like, what? No, not just you. Good, good. 
Um, well, perhaps I can speed things along here a little bit. <laughs> Please. Um, I have a couple questions for you. So, and then uh, we'll get back to some of the panelists here. So, what do you do for work? No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. All right, Gia. Hold on. Okay, so. I'm a singer. Okay. What are Gia. you? Hey, Gia. Well, sing me a fucking song, Gio. <laughs> Gio. Who's that? Sing Who's me Gio? a fucking Who's Gio? song, Gio. What's your name? Yeah. Paul? Okay, so make Gia. Me, hey, make it a, make, can you make it a love ballad? Rob? I really like those. Can you make it a, Hold can you make on, a love Andrew, ballad? Hold on, Andrew. Andrew, let me have. Let's, Ligma? It's Ligma. Kind of, Ligma. Is that your name? Look, the, Ligma she balls, come up bitch. With Ligma? Really? Ligma balls, bitch. <laughs> Are you going to do a fucking 12-year-old meme? Really? Ligma? Catch me outside. How about that? Catch me outside. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I was literally about to say that. You read my mind. I know. I know I did. <laughs> but it's because you have no mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that why you're making fun of me and called me, addressed me with... Yeah, the, it's like, a lot of fun. Is that make why you address you. me as a man? Are you intimidated by rocks, me? I'm a little girl. I like to troll, too. I'm hey, a girl. I can troll, too. I'm a girl. Too. I'm not sing a man. Sing me a fucking My song. Go get an acoustic and sing me a fucking song. Okay. Sing me a song. X-X. Make a love ballad. Yeah, there you go. He's a fan. Hey, he's a fan. We, we he's can start with that. We can start with that. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's get back on track here. All right. Let's get back on track. So, let me, Andrew, just let me ask the questions. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll speed this along as quick as I can. Uh, so, uh, Gio, what do you think of men? Can, wait, what? I'm just kidding. What? I heard you. What's a man? What's a, what's a... Ontologically or metaphysically or what like, which way are you asking a, how do you what a man, define a man is so that I'm clear? What makes a man a man? I know, but what makes a man a man? I mean, this definitely meets the threshold for like disruptive sabotage interruption but no no not i really. think it's fair game do you mean ontologically no 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 Andrew, i just want to make sure i get Andrew, the question clear Andrew, i'm just uno reverse you and you're getting upset because i uno reverse let me get through this okay so how do you uh, do how is this your job if you get offended it's so a quickly question. how do you get so offended? so okay question. it's definitely reaching the threshold of the troll so uh sorry you think question. i'm funny and you're not i'm just kidding sorry okay you guys should like Anyways. tape her mouth shut just for a little Okay, so. I'll leave. What do you I'll think? I'll gladly of, leave. What do you think of men? What? What do you think of men? I just asked you to not ask me stupid questions. So, if you're like not taking me seriously, what makes How you think that? that I'm going to take you seriously? What's your name? All right. I uh, don't know your name. I'll see if I can get something else out of you. Uh, who do you think is the primary victim of war, men or women? What? You going to answer a question? Who goes to men? I mean, who goes to war, men or women? Typically men. Okay. So then what is, what do you, who, like? Who's the primary victim of war, men or women? Men. Okay. Are men or women physically stronger? Men. Can you be sexist towards men? No. Can you be sexist towards women? Yes. Why can't you be sexist towards men? Men are sexual predators. And women are not. What does that have to do with sexism? What? That's like two different questions. Boom. Mic drop. Sorry. Uh, I'm really do you think, smart. I'm actually really smart. Can you be racist towards white people? What? Can you be racist towards white people? <laughs> Why don't you ask them that? <clears throat> not me. Don't ask me. I'm not black. I'm, no, can you be racist? I'm not black. Why? You can't ask me a question that you can only ask a black. I'm not black. No, I'm not saying if you black. can be racist. Do I look black to you? You can't ask me that. <laughs> no, but I can. can't answer can that. Can not you. That's a setup. That's a setup. Can people setup. in general can be racist answer? towards white people? You can answer, you answer that. that then. If you it's can be racist setup, towards anybody, answer. I believe. Okay, then answer. He's asking you. Are you being racist right now? No, I'm okay, asking you a question. You answer. If you're not racist, answer. No, but it's... If you're not racist, what's your name? Jana, answer. You don't remember anything, so I'm not going to really I say really anything. don't really, I don't right, want to know your name I'll either. Anyways. Back over here. Uh, do you think that white people have culture? No. Mm. <laughs> uh, do you believe in male privilege? Yes. Do you believe in toxic masculinity? No. Mm. Let's see. Do you I'm believe just kidding. I'm white. I am very, I can season chicken, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, what is a woman? 
me. What you are. I'm a woman. I, cl- I identify as a woman. Mm-hmm. Mr. Whatever your name is. Gio is a boy name, not do, a girl do, name. Uh, do you think My name we, is Gia, do you not think, Gio. Okay. Correction. Uh, do you think, I'm correct or not yeah. at all. Do you think men are important? I do. Hold on. Hold I do on. think men are important. Uh, surreal, Gio, only reason I, I think you're men. still there is because you're causing enough people to cringe hard enough. They feel I the need to donate men. 200 for the sole purpose of letting you know you're a dumb blank. Uh, surreal, thank for the 200. Why are you reading that out loud? It's a TTS that didn't trigger, so I read it. That was not okay. That, that was a hate comment, and you just read that out loud. So you are, you are, like, that was hate speech. You can go to jail for that. That's great. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, do you think men are important? I can sue you if I really wanted to, sounds, so don't fuck good. with I'll me, Sounds good. I'll sue ho. you in court. Don't fuck with me, ho. Sounds good. Uh, do you think men are important? I just answered that. To Next jail. question, the, please. T- the, TTS, the TTS came through. Next question. Do you, do you think men are important? Next question. Do you think men are trash? I love men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do we need men? I love dick in my mouth. I'm mm. just kidding. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Well, uh... In my... Bleep. A-S-S. No, I'm mm. just kidding. Okay. Am I? I don't know. Let's see and find out. No, I'm just kidding. Would you fuck me? I'm just kidding. Nope. Okay. Nope. Oh. Really? Yep. <laughs> I don't All think right. you would. Really I don't think. I think you're lying. All right. Okay. Um. All right. So that was fun. That was fun. But uh, you've been. Disruptive. I love you. You've uh, you've been disruptive. So. Thanks for having me. You gotta leave. It's XGX. So, uh, kindly uh, get up. This is Sparta! What? Get up, get out. What'd you say? Your what did you just say? He said, get the me? fuck out of here, you dumb bitch. Get out. <laughs> who? That's what he said. Who, he said, get who the are you asking? Who are you who's asking? You too, homie. Who are you speaking to? I'm speaking to you. What's my name? Your permission to be here has been revoked. You need to leave. What's my name? I don't care. If what you your ask name is. me nicely, I will get up. But if you ask me, oh, I don't have to ask you nicely. Your permission, your permission to yeah. be here has been revoked. Your, it's can, just been revoked. I'm subscribed, revoked. guys. This can't. This it's just been revoked. Okay. <laughs> Where's my shoes? Nobody's wearing shoes They're here, by there. the way, guys. That's just how weird it is. When you walk in, they ask you to take off your shoes and get naked. <laughs> what? Fuck the whatever podcast. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Afuera. Gia out. Ta-ta. Yeah, Gia out. Nick, uh, video here. (laughs) Well, (laughs) moving forward. This is good. She's gonna steal our shit, guys. Our purses are in the front. I'm so sorry. I'm pleased about this. Is that your friend? No, no. Oh, I thought y'all were friends. No. Andrew, are you enjoying the <laughs> peace and silence? To come and I knew she oh, yeah. Well, are you that taking was a little break? Yeah, I love that kind of shit. We can carry the conversation. Now it's you and all the girls. You don't have to share us with anyone. Come on. Yeah. No, no. Are you kidding? I love it. when when, when people do the low tier trolling. That's my favorite kind. Like, I, I always enjoy it, because it, it, there's no way for them to really win, right? All they can really do is just sit there and make Brian money, which is hilarious to me. It's like, it always backfires, but for some reason they do it anyway, but I, do, I just think it's hilarious. I feel bad for... It's like I'm always trying to dig, can I help the person or not? This is going to be challenge. would be challenging. Very, very challenging. I know, me too. That's crazy. This is a habit. Hang on, hang on. Shh. We got to hear this. Hang on. Just fucking leave. Just fucking leave. I love you guys. Peace out. Get the fuck out of my studio. What did you just say to me? Get the fuck out of my studio. Come on, Phil. Take her out. Take her out. No, no, you can't touch me. You need to leave. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just fucking leave, man. Don't make it a fucking big deal. 
What did you just call me? You need to fucking leave. Can you repeat that one more time before Your I permission leave? to be here has been revoked. I'm trespassing you. Right. So you want me to just walk. I'm trespassing you. <coughs> this is really weird. Yeah. Like for us. No, no, no. You two are good. You, you're, you're good. You two are perfectly okay, fine. You've been, you've been great. You've been fantastic. Okay, so sure no worries about first. you at all. I'm literally worried. Are you talking to us? No, not you. <laughs> not you. <laughs> talking to um, uh, Kylie and Penny. No, you guys have been great. You've been great. control the best what did, what did it say? She's a goofy. She's a goofy. She doesn't help. <laughs> no, she can not real well. Oh, are you not streaming all this? The departure? Andrew, it's so come on. You're the host. What am I? What am I supposed to? Do? What am I supposed to rotate the camera with my psych? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, what do you want me to do here? Yeah, All you need lie. to do is make Ky Kylie, right? Kylie, ah, fuera. It's to smile because she's. Uh, ah, fuera. <laughs> what the fuck? People making comments on her beautiful smile, <laughs> <laughs> so she can carry the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Is she is she out of the studio now? No, no, no. She she does not She's want to still leave. In the studio? She's still here. Yes. She's a stroller. No, the other. No, that's no, just no, her. No, no. Huh? That's just her. Yeah. Like she believes it, so it's not like anything. <laughs> no. Wait, she goes as friends? No. Oh, we just thought that we were going to get to know who you brought her. My sister was supposed to come, but she oh. canceled last minute, so mm -hmm. Ryan asked me to bring someone. Mm -hmm. oh, we thought she was a character, but yeah. I didn't oh, she know she was going to be like this. So we just we brought her. Yeah. But. So she was just saying all that shit, like, I do explicit content, I don't, like, just, no, I have just no making shit up, right? Yeah, it's all over no. the yeah. place. This is, this is her as a person. She's not trolling. She's always yeah. like this. Uh -huh. Oh, that's her. <laughs> she's, always, she's always like this. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Bad, Why? Though, what's with the, what? What is going on with the out. the emotes? It's the <laughs> but Andrew, come on, honestly, you enjoyed it, didn't you? Come on, she got you going. <laughs> now, it's, Me? now the rant such a boring too. time. Like she everybody gone. is in agreement she, I, with I, you. It was pretty funny, but. Yeah, I, I agree with that. With yeah. the dive to her. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. Oh, I Me neither. Um, is she gone? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Round of Here's applause, a, guys. But now Andrew is speechless, you see? <laughs> totally speechless. Yep. Don't know. What to, okay, so she's out of the studio now. Yeah, yeah, she's out. Okay, so the, okay, like, okay, I think here's why. Her, here's but... why I didn't uh, didn't just kind of keep the show going from this end, because I know that the, I know the whatever audience pretty well, right? Yeah. And they wanted to hear, even if it was so just ever so faintly, they still wanted to hear what was going on in the background, and I was not going to deprive the whatever audience of that. I wasn't going to do it, and so yeah, I I, I allowed them to hear because that's just the kind of guy I am. Just the kind of guy I am. But anyway, we can get back to the show. Back to the show. All right. Um, I'm sorry about that, guys. But, um, I mean, she refused to leave even back there. We had to essentially threaten that we were going to call the police. Well, that certainly meets the uh, criteria for a sabotage or trolling situation. So whatever legal uh, options may be available to us, we'll see. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so let's see here. Um, I can't believe it. I gotta go over oh, and punch my. Oh, by the way, I gotta go punch the wall. We were recording right. all the bullshit that was going on back there. Maybe we. I, I should have turned the camera. To be honest, sorry, you guys you missed it on stream. Had a, uh, smart uh, smart. What's that? She could have pulled her thing back. You know, oh. Whatever. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, can you guys turn that that light out there, guys? I'm. We're gonna post it to our Discord. Hold on. Brian Andrew fan donated two hundred dollars. Thank you for kicking her off, long time watcher, first time donator. She is super toxic. Uh, yo, um, runt Brian Andrew friend. 
Thank you, man. Appreciate the uh, TTS. So we were filming all the BTS. We'll post it to our Discord. It's discord.gg slash whatever. Nick, can you pull it up, please? It's going to be in the behind the scenes section here. We post a bunch of like the BTS and stuff. <laughs> so uh, we'll post all the like the kick out and stuff uh, on there. So uh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, you can find it there, discord.gg slash whatever. Make sure you don't join the Discord. Can you guys, uh, can you guys uh, mod spam it in the chat, please? I want to apologize to the rest of the panel here for the disruption there. Um, it is what it is, probably. Uh, but she's gone now, so. Well, you can't say you didn't give her every opportunity, Brian. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was, every I should have, honestly, I should have, I should have kicked her well, uh, way sooner. <laughs> Uh, no, no. I think I think that that was the right move to just kind of show and demonstrate that there was absolutely no way she was ever going to have a good faith conversation. He demonstrated it well, and um, I think that that was exactly what you should have done. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wanted to at least try to bring her back from the troll. Say, okay, you had your fun. Let's go back to the conversation. But yeah, hurt. it is what it is. Okay, uh, so. Anyways, uh, we will, like I said, we will post all that BTS stuff that we got of her. She called, uh, she called us the P word because we were recording her. P word. So a little slander there. Oh my God. Throwing a little slander too. Oh, and then and then when we were trying to get her out, she said that she started yelling in the hall, uh, hallways, saying that we were kidnapping her. Oh my God. Uh, so this is uh, the kind of women you're dealing with, basically just. Uh, falsely accusing, pretty typical of uh, women like that. So, um, and after you took the time, I saw earlier, Brian was such a gentleman. He took the time to have a staff bring out a little cushion so that she could reach uh, the the microphone. You know, her, her little legs were kicking in the chair; she couldn't quite reach it. He put this little cushion down so that she could she could get high enough to speak in. It was very gentleman-like behavior, and this is how you're repaid, Brian. Anyways, back to the conversation. Uh, we have to return to regularly. No donated two hundred dollars. I just got done watching a presidential debate with a hysterical whiny lady. I turn on the whatever podcast, and a hysterical whiny lady is being kicked out. I can't escape them. <laughs> Best comment. Uh, yeah, it should have been uh, Trump kicked out Kamala. Kamala. Uh, from the debate. Anyways, uh, okay. Yeah, guys, we'll go Twitch really quick. Uh, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop a follow in the Prime sub if you have one. Twitch.tv slash whatever. It's Grid One Motorsports mm. donated $200 I and one turned the cent. Camera, but... Here is another 200 Get a kick mm. cam. This is Sparta. And your fans deserve to see all the action, especially with such an entitled of whore beach. Yeah, the, the problem with our setup is at least we can only, uh, we only have four cameras. I, I have an additional camera, but our computer rig won't handle more than four. Uh, so I would basically just have to turn one of these cameras. I, uh, I've done it before, but it kind of didn't occur to me. And actually she was, uh, before the show, she was asking about like nip slip stuff. So like we were already kind of on uh, high alert. So that's why we actually, I, that's why I didn't turn the camera so you could see the BTS because she was like talking about like nip slip shit and we just didn't want to, I well, actually brought I knew, down. Brian, I knew that she was trolling the second I asked her, I had a very serious question about leprechauns and pots of gold and she wouldn't even answer. So I knew right then when you get asked the leprechaun question, if leprechauns you know, if you see one, do they lead you to a pot of gold? Mm. And um, she didn't, you know, mm. she really just didn't even engage. And it was a yeah. super serious question. So. But, yeah, I was I was so concerned uh, about the potential nip slip. I was thinking about having her wear a uh, one of my Pantera. Uh, hold on. Let me move the mic out of the way. <laughs> or, oh, fuck, yeah. Either this Pantera shirt or this one. But then we, we decided that we, you know, maybe it, maybe it wasn't going to be a... Maybe it wasn't... Oh, you probably couldn't hear me while I stopped. Whatever. Okay, anyways. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, why don't we do this? Uh, 